mad. I'm very angry that he did something like that. She may be a burglary victim, but 83-year-old Estelle Samick is neither weary nor scared. She stumbled on a man rifling through her New Britain Avenue home and didn't back down. There was this man standing there with his hands in my husband's dresser drawer. So I looked at him and I said, who the hell are you? And I turned around and ran, and he ran behind me, and he tackled me on the stairs. And he slammed me into the table and then into the wall, and he took off. He got away with jewelry and cash, she said. Police chased him through the neighborhood with dogs, stopping to ask Lisa Kim and other wide-eyed neighbors if they'd seen him. He said, okay, guys, let's go inside, lock the doors, close the garage. Officers eventually caught up with the accused burglar, now identified as 29-year-old Luis Ortiz in Newington. It was one of those situations where he'd pop up. We'd find him, whatever. So a lot of ground was covered by this guy and our officers um, in this chase. The violent break-in and subsequent chase dominating the evening gossip in West Hartford. Shocked. I actually, I texted her, asked her if she was home, and I said, I just heard on the news that the, there was a burglary. We all started talking around the neighborhood, just keeping an eye on things. Meanwhile, Samick says she's feeling a little sore, but proud that the officers cornered her alleged attacker. He's charged with home invasion, burglary, robbery, larceny, assault, criminal mischief, and interfering with an officer. Would you like to say anything to him now? No. No, because I don't think you could print it, what I had. <laughs>